Welcome. In this video, I'll show you how to fix simple voice chat for Eternos. All right. If you find this video helpful, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more such tutorials. Now, as you can see here, I've just created a new server. Now, what we're going to do is just go ahead over to the left panel and click on software. All right. Now, for this example, we're going to go ahead and use Fabric. Just click on it. Now, go ahead and click on the latest version, which is right here. I'm just going to click on it and hit on install. Wait for the process to finish. As you can see, it is done. And it's now reloading the page. Now, what we're going to do next is just go ahead over to the left panel once more and click on mods. Wait for it to load. Now, once it loads, go ahead and go to the search bar. Now, type in simple voice chat. All right. Once that's done, just hit on find. Now, click on the first search result. Click on it. Now, as you might remember, we have installed the Fabric 1.21.5 right here. As you can see, it is set to green. Just go ahead and click on the download button or install button and wait for the process to finish. All right, it's done. Let's just go ahead over to the server. And here, just click on start. Okay, accept. Okay. Wait for it. And as you can see, it is now running. And just go ahead and click on connect. Now in here, copy the port, double click on it, then right click and hit on copy. Once done, just hit on OK. All right, as you can see here, we're still in queue. Just wait for it to finish. All right, let's just go ahead and click on confirm now. It says preparing, just wait for it. All right, as you can see here, the uh, server is now online. What we're going to do is just go ahead over to file section right here at the left panel. Now go ahead over to configs. All right, now click on voice chat. Now go ahead and click on voice chat server properties. All right, click on it to open it up. Now, as you can see here, we have the port. Okay. Now just go ahead and erase this one. And as you might remember, we have copied the port from the server. Just right click and hit on paste. Here we have the new port. And once that's done, just hit on save. As you can see, here we have the check mark. That means that it is saved. Now go back to server right here at the top left and just hit on restart. Okay, wait for it to process. And that's basically it. Well, I hope this video helps and I'll see you in the next one.